Hi, I'm Mr. Lineweber, and this is section 4.2, Simplifying Rational Expressions in Math 30-2. Here we are on page 104, and this really is the heart of the unit, simplifying these rational expressions. And we're going to follow a process, the same process, every single time we encounter one of these things. And so we're going to simplify by division through common factors. And to get those common factors, of course, you have to factor. And so we went through a couple processes in a previous video about which types. And so those types are GCF and difference of squares. So you need to be fluent in those processes in order to do this section. Um, one of the most important things is that you have to state the non-permissible values at the beginning or at the end. As long as it's in your final solution, it's good. And then leave your answer in the factored form. So I'll do these class examples and there'll be some try on your owns for you to try. And of course, you're going to use my notes uh, on the website uh, to verify your solutions. So the first thing we're going to look at here is class example A here. What we want to do, the first step, and it's always the first step, if you can, factor. So factor the top, factor the bottom separately. So in the numerator, we have a common factor of 2m. And when we divide 2m out of the top, we get 3m minus 4. And in the denominator, the only common factor is an m squared. So they don't have any numbers in common, 3 and 4. There's no number other than 1 that factors them, so there's no number. And they share up to m to the power 2. You see, this one's got a 3, this one's got a 2, so at most you can take 2 out when you factor m squared out, you're left with 3m minus 4 out of the denominator there. And now what you see is uh, in the next step here, basically what you want to look for here is, okay, these are my monomials. And right next to them, you can see the binomials. We have to treat these separately. So the monomials, they're going to simplify together, and the binomials, they're going to simplify together. The only way you can ever simplify a binomial is if they're identical, and they have to match completely, top and bottom, so that they divide for one. They cancel for one. Top and bottom the same, divides for one. Now the monomials, they're going to get reduced in a process um, that follows the exponent laws. So you can see that there's 1m on top, 2m's on bottom. So if you remember the exponent law, you'd be doing uh, 1 minus 2, which is m to the negative 1, which would mean that m goes into the denominator. Now that's a bit, uh, if you haven't done exponent laws in a while, so one way to simplify this and think about it is, you know, how many m's in the top how many m's in the bottom? And so it kind of look like this. m over m times m. There's two m's in the bottom. And only one is going to cancel, and you're left with one in the denominator. So it's kind of like a bit of a battle. It's like m to the one versus m to the two. Who's going to win that battle, and by how much? It looks like one left over in the bottom. Then as far as the number goes, it's a lowest terms fraction, 2 over 1 is just the integer 2, so we're going to be left with just simply 2 over 1m. And that is the final answer because the binomials cancelled, so we just have to now state the non-permissible values. So we say m is not allowed to be 0. So the reason it's not allowed to be 0 is because of this term right here. That's a monomial with the variable, m can't be 0. And then the other one here is going to be a positive 4 thirds um, from this term here. So to think about this one, remember we're going to use our 
pointer here to cover up the 3, like pretend that the 3 isn't there. Now, you know, what's the opposite of minus 4? Well, that's a positive 4. And then how do you get rid of this 3? You just divide it out. All right, so those are the non-permissibles, and this is the final answer. Now, question B, when you look at the numerator, there's nothing you can factor. When you look at the denominator, you have a difference of squares. So we'll do that here, x minus 1, x plus 1. Now, I want to simplify everything. So there's no monomials to simplify. So I don't have to do any work out here. But these binomials, if they match 100% completely, then I'm allowed to cancel. Now, we can see that these ones are pretty darn close. Except here's a negative x, here's a positive x, here's a positive one, and here's a negative one. So in order to make them cancel, we have to use the negative trick. Remember, the negative trick said that anytime you have a negative on a lead coefficient, you need to factor out a negative one. So we'll do that. And you'll all that happens is that the sign will change. So we get a negative 1 and a positive x after we take out that term. Now even that kind of looks kind of weird, so I'm just going to reorder the numerator there. And all that I did from this parentheses to this parentheses is reordered it. So here we have a positive x, here we have a positive x, here we have a negative one, here we have a negative one. And now these match completely, and you can cancel for your final so final answer is minus 1, the placeholder, over x plus 1. Now we have to state our non-permissible values. x is not allowed to be, well, it's not allowed to be positive 1 from this term. And it's not allowed to be negative 1 from this term. And so we can actually make that uh, more, um, we can clean that up a bit, I guess, and just write it like this. And that will always happen when you end up with a difference of squares in the denominator, where you have this like plus or minus business. One last thing I'll note is that these two steps... If you look at the tip on the side here, um, there's a typo right there. That should be a negative one. When you're canceling two terms that only differ by a sign, you can actually use a shortcut right off the beginning. You can be like, oh, that and that can cancel as long as I put a minus one. And then look at that. There's your final answer, just like we had. Minus one over x plus one. Okay, so those try on your owns are for you. Please check my site. So let's take a look at the next three examples on the next page. So the first section is only for monomials only. So most questions you see will have both monomials and binomials. We're just going to take care of this sort of in uh, parts here so you can get a feel for it. So let's look at A and B here. 24 over 18, negative 24 over 18. You can simplify that using your calculator. Just when you type um, 24 divided by 18 and then hit enter, just hit the math button after and then hit enter a couple more times and it's going to convert that to a lowest terms fraction. So 24 divided by 18 is the same as 4 over 3. And remember, a negative divided by a positive, that's going to be, going to be a negative fraction. Now you have, there's an x squared over an x cubed. So those x's are going to cancel for the most part. Two of them in the top will cancel two of them in the bottom, and you'll be left with one left over in the bottom. They kind of have a battle. It's like two versus three, who wins, and by how much. Non-permissible value, because we have an x in the denominator, in a monomial, x not allowed to be zero. Final answer.
With this one, 18 over 36, that's a lowest terms fraction of 1 half. And then you can see here, x to the 4 versus x to the 7. So we're going to have 3 left over in the denominator because they have a bit of a battle. It's like 4 versus 7, who wins and by how much? Comma, x is not allowed to be 0. Okay, so example two, now we're going to introduce some binomials. So same process as on the first page, make sure you factor out the GCF. So it looks like we can take out a 5x. You're left with a 3x squared minus 1 over 15x cubed. Now what's really crucial here is that you have to identify that the monomials go together and simplify in a process where you have to only do the monomials together. So you have this 5x over 15x cubed. Treat those together. You still have a 3x squared minus 1 over, looks like just 1, that you're going to merge in there after. So in the blue highlight, you have to treat those monomials together and simplify them together. And so your final answer here, 5 divided by 15 is a third x versus x cubed, you're going to get an x squared in the denominator, and now you still have that 3x squared minus 1 in the top over there, and so the final answer is 3x squared minus 1 over 3x squared, comma, x is not allowed to be 0. In letter B, you can see that there's a lead coefficient that's negative, so when I factor out my GCF, I'm going to pull out a negative 3, y, and then I'll be left with 3y minus 1. You can see that I've reordered and factored in the same step, all over 6y cubed. Same idea, you need to identify the monomials, because they are going to simplify together. So what we end up with, 3 divided by 6 with a negative, so that's 1 half negative. y versus y cubed, you're going to get a y squared left over in the bottom. And then this binomial, it didn't cancel with any other binomial, so it's got to come along for the ride in the top there. And then you can clean this up a little bit. Negative outside of a 3y minus 1 over 2y squared comma, y not allowed to be 0. So on this page, you just have extra practice. And I guess I can finish off one more here for you. Uh, this looks like a repeat question, so don't do that one. And let's take a look at this last one here. So in the denominator, they have a factoring, and in the numerator, they have a factoring. So again, treat those separately, factor the top, factor the bottom. Taking out a 3a, we're left with a minus, oh, pardon me. Taking out a 3a squared, and we're left with a a minus 1. Now on the denominator, again, same idea you got a negative on the lead coefficient, so you're going to want to factor out a negative 12 when you do this. You'll be left with a minus 1. And now this is really crucial to your understanding. If this negative does not come out, so I can undo that, look what happens. Don't factor out this negative. So then you'll be left with a negative a and a positive 1. And so you can see that these two binomials now don't match exactly. That's why we like to do that negative trick. Now they factor, or as you, now you can see that they will cancel perfectly. And then our leftover monomial will simplify. 3 divided by 12 is a quarter with a minus. And then you got an a squared up top. Remember that a will not be allowed to be 1 because of this factor here. 
and we don't have to worry about anything there for the non-permissibles because there's no A there. So we don't even need it. So there's the final answer.